In this video, we will continue creating our robot head. Last time, we created this rectangle that we were going to use, that we are going to use to create our mouth. Notice that when we created it in the front view, it was positioned along the center line of our robot. So we will select that. And we would like to extrude this. So we'll select solid, extrude planar curve straight. I would like it to go not only to the front or to the back, but both ways. So we do have an option that says both sides. Currently it's toggled to no. We'll toggle that to yes. We'll extend this a little bit outside of our characters the front of our character as well as the back of our character it also overhangs to the right and to the left we'll now create the jaw the vertical portions these vertical portions so i'll go to my box command and i'll select this endpoint and bring that to this point right here that was incorrect And we'll add some height to that. There's the beginnings of our jaw. I don't want it to extend to the full edge, so I believe that I will go to my scale in one direction. We'll select it. This is the point that we would like to be fixed, this back corner, so we will select that. Here's our front corner, and we'll bring that back to the midpoint to create our jaw. And it looks like it wasn't fully brought to the edge either, so we will go back to scale. There's our origin, here's our endpoint, and we will bring it out to there. If each of these boxes is five, I would like to put some fillets onto my jaw at this point, so we will go into our solid tools, go down to Fillet and Fillet Edge. Let's change our radius to, let's see what a radius of 4 does on both corners to round that. I think that looks good. And then we will also put radii, radiuses there. That looks good. And last, we will mirror this side of the jaw. this midpoint there we go looks good I might even bring our jaw forward and I might boolean union this this and this since these are all one piece let's look at this in the uh, right side viewport I think that will bring that forward so that mm -hmm. the center line and the center line are aligned. It looks as if the whole head should be rotated 180 degrees so that the jaw is in front and there it's positioned correctly. All right, I think the next part that I will begin working on will be the projections. So we will project these images on the top as well as the images for the eyeball. I think I'll start with the eyeball. I'm going to turn on grid snap just so I can work with specific grids. I think I'll make my eye 10. I'll start this one on the same center point and leave two units of thickness for that outer ring. over one, two, three, four, come up to this line, come over, and come down. I believe that's correct. Next we will trim, select everything as cutting objects, and get rid of these. 
And since these are curves, underneath curve, we will go to fillet curves with a radius of 1. We'll select those two. And then we'll select those two. And then additionally, there was one other little circle in here. I like that. That eye looks pretty good. We will select this in our top view. We will bring it over and in front. I would like it to be centered, so I think I'll move it from the midpoint to the end point and then bring it out in front. And then we will determine the height, which I think is good right there. If we go into shaded mode, we should see our shapes in front of our object, which we do. Now we will project. It's asking for the curves. We'll select all of the curves that we made. Press enter and project them onto this surface and press enter. Here's our curve in the front. There's what was projected onto our shape as well as one put on the back. We don't need the one on the back, so I'm going to delete that. And I might take this and bring this in a little bit closer to our geometry so that we can loft out to that. I think we'll do our splits at this time. So let's split the big object with this curve, this curve, oops. Not. We will try this again. Split the large object, press enter, with all of the curves that we have just projected on and press enter. All of our shapes are separate now. I'll take this and bring that out a little bit. I will join this curve to this curve. And let's surface loft this to edge to that edge. That should fill in that little section on our eye. Surface, we will loft. But we probably will need to join first, so we will join the projected curve and the other projected curve together. And then now we can loft this curve to this curve. It looks as if these need to be joined. So let's do that as well. Join these two. I should have done that earlier. And then loft curve to curve. Let's take this curve and we will use our surface tool to make a planar curve to fill that in. We would like an opening here, so I'm going to split this surface with that curve and then delete that part so we get that opening. And then we will split this surface again with this curve. And maybe take this and move it in and then surface and loft this curve to that edge to fill that in as well. Let's join this ring with that ring. And let's join these things with that. And one more, this little curve with this. Yeah. Solid. Fillet edge. I'm going to fill it some of these now. 0.5. Let's see what a radius of 0.5 looks like. Like that little rounded feature. We'll get rid of that curve. Let's do it a little bit smaller for this edge. 0.5. 